the cows of Farmer John are starting a startup company. So they're going to have a tree to organize the company where every cow has a single manager. Each cow is also going to have a proficiency rating and we want to check to see for every cow how many cows underneath it have a higher proficiency level than itself. Let's go look at the algorithm for this question. We're going to solve this question using bit trees and DFS. So we're going to use a post order tree traversal. I'm going to demonstrate here. We're going to start at node 1 and then we're going to go down to node 2. And once we reach node 2, we're going to put it in the bit tree. So let's just assume the data structure is here. And I'm just going to write down all of the numbers that are currently in the data structure. We're then going to go back up and then go back down to this trap. So from here, we're going to go down here and we're going to put in 4. For 4, we're going to calculate using query the current number of numbers that is greater. So what that basically means is let's assume we go up here, back down to 5, we add 5, back up here, and then we reach 3. So the question wants for every node the number of more competent cows in its subtree. In our bit tree, since we're going to be going in post order, whatever we do in our DFS, we're going to have a bunch of different values in our tree. So what we're going to actually do is before when we reach a node, we're going to first calculate the number of numbers in this bit tree with a rating higher than it. So this is going to be all of the numbers with a rating higher than it in the rest of the tree. And then we're going to keep DFSing down and then check all of its children. And then when we come back to this node after looping through all its children, we're then going to find the number of numbers that have a greater rating than it again. And so what this is going to do is we're basically going to take the whole thing and then we're going to subtract this initial value we found, which is going to give us the total number of cows in the subtree that have a higher proficiency rating. For every node, basically, we're going to first check how many nodes are greater than it. So we're going to check the rest of the tree for more proficient cows. And then we're going to do the DFS. Then we're going to check the whole tree for cows that are more proficient than it. Subtract this. And that value is basically going to give us the number of cows more proficient than it in its current subtree. And then the simplest way to get this prefix sum to find the number of cows with a higher proficiency rating is just using a bit tree. So we're going to use the bit tree and the post order tree traversal in order to solve this question. Let's go look at the code. We're going to start off by reading in the input. So I'm going to create a vector of pairs called old in order to start off the program. So with bit trees, all the values that we update have to be between 1 and n. So what that means is, when we end up updating our ratings, we're going to need to update them in the range 1 to n. So we're going to compress down our values. I'm going to then read in the parents, and I'm just going to create ADJ using the parent values. For the compression, we're just going to sort the values in our old, and then we're going to update that ID with the new value. So this is going to compress it down to the values from 1 to n. After that, we're going to run our DFS. We have two main bit functions, update and query. These are the standard functions, so I'm going to skip explaining them. We're also going to have our DFS. And so we're going to first create prevnum node. And this is just going to be all of the values in the bit already existing before we get our children. So this is going to be everything that's not in our subtree that we want to exclude. And so we're going to get that by doing query n minus query rating node to get all of the numbers that are greater than the current rating. We're going to then loop through our children, update our value, and we're going to DFS. We're going to then get the answer for this node. So that value is just going to be this value here, which is going to be the number of numbers greater than our current rating. And then we're going to subtract prevnum node. And so that's just going to be the number earlier. 
and that way this is going to get only the numbers in our current subtree. We're going to then update our bit with this current rating for future numbers. And that's pretty much the end of the DFS. At the end, we'll print out our answer. And that's the end of our program.